Good morning, boys and girls. Let's read another book today. Today's book is called Jamaica's Find, and it is by Juanita Havel, or Havil, I'm not sure how to say it. Illustrations by Anne Sibley O'Brien. Oh, there's some pretty, pretty pictures in here. When Jamaica arrived at the park, there was no one there. It was almost supper time, but she still had a few minutes to play. Look how pretty the picture is. She's a pretty little girl. She sat in a swing and pushed off with her toes and began pumping. It was not fun to have to watch out for the little ones who always ran in front of the swings. So she had the place all to herself. Then she climbed up the slide. There was a red sock hat on the ladder step. Jamaica took it for a ride. She slid down so fast that she fell in the sand and lay flat on her back. When she rolled over to get up, she saw a stuffed dog beside her. It was a cuddly gray dog, all worn from hugging. All over it were faded food and grass stains. Its button nose must have fallen off. There was a round white spot in its place. Two black ears hung from its head. Oh, look, there she is. She found a little dog. Jamaica put the dog in her bicycle basket. She took the hat into the park house and gave it to the young man at the counter. There it is. Oh, look, she's been so good giving the hat to the man. The first thing her mother said when Jamaica came in the door was, Where did that dog come from? The park. I stopped to play on my way home. Jamaica said, I found someone's red hat and took it to the lost and found. But Jamaica, you should have returned the dog too, said her mother. Then she said, I'm glad you returned the hat. It didn't fit me, Jamaica said. Maybe the dog doesn't fit you either, her mother said. I like the dog, Jamaica said. Don't put that silly dog on the table, Jamaica's brother said. You don't know where it came from. It isn't very clean, you know, her father said. Not in the kitchen, Jamaica, her mother said. Jamaica took the dog to her room. She could hear her mother say, it probably belongs to a girl just like Jamaica. There's her brother and her dad and her mom and Jamaica. Oh, Jamaica doesn't look very happy. After dessert, Jamaica went to her room very quietly. She held the dog up close and looked at it closely. Then she tossed it on a chair. I think maybe she's feeling bad. Jamaica, her mother called from the kitchen. Have you forgotten? It's your turn to dry the dishes. Do I have to, mother? I don't feel good, Jamaica answered. Jamaica heard the rap. Then she heard her mother's steps. There's that dog on the chair. There's Jamaica. Her mother came in quietly and sat down by Jamaica and looked at the stuffed dog, which lay alone on the chair. She didn't say anything. After a while, she put her arms around Jamaica and squeezed for a long time. Mother, I want to take the dog back to the park, Jamaica said. We'll go first thing in the morning, her mother smiled. I think she made a good choice, don't you? Jamaica ran to the park house and plopped the stuffed dog on the counter. 
I found it this by the slide, she told the young man. Oh, hi, aren't you the girl who found the hat last night? Yes, said Jamaica, feeling hot around her ears. You sure do find a lot of things. I'll put it on the lost and found shelf. Jamaica stood watching him. Is that all, he asked? You didn't find anything else, did you? No, that's all. She stayed to watch him put the dog on the shelf behind him. I'm sure some little girl or boy will come in to get it today. A nice little dog like that, the young man said. There she is. What a nice thing she's doing. Jamaica ran outside. She didn't feel like playing alone. There was no one else at the park but her mother, who sat on a bench. Then Jamaica saw a girl and her mother cross the street to the park. Hi, I'm Jamaica. What's your name, she said to the girl. The girl let go of her mother's hand. Kristen, she said. Do you want to climb the jungle gym with me, Kristen? Jamaica said. Here's Jamaica and her mom. And here's Kristen and her mom. Kristen ran toward Jamaica. Yes, but I have to find something first. What? asked Jamaica. Kristen was bending under the slide. What did you lose? said Jamaica. Edgar dog. I brought him here with me yesterday, and now I can't find him, Kristen answered. Was he kind of gray with black ears? Jamaica couldn't keep from shouting, Come along with me! Oops, I forgot to show you. Here's Kristen looking for her dog. The young man in the park house looked over the counter at the two girls. Now what have you found? He asked Jamaica. But this time Jamaica didn't drop anything onto the counter. Instead, she smiled her biggest smile. I found the girl who belongs to the stuffed dog. There's Jamaica and Kristen. And there's the man. Oh, this is a happy day, huh? Jamaica was almost as happy as Kristen, who took Edward Dog in her arms and gave him a big welcome back hug. Oh, that was so nice. You know what? It took her a little time, but she did the right thing and gave the dog back to make her new friend happy. That's exciting. Boys and girls, we sure miss you. I hope you're having good days and um, that you're being good for mom and dad and everybody, and that you're doing all your work for school. And we hope to see you soon, okay? Have a good day. Bye.